Hello friends and welcome to Kurt Berglund's Baseball World. We're continuing with the WBC Tournament, the World Baseball Classic. These are cards that I've designed with my friend Chris White, who has put them on the most amazing card stock you've ever seen in your life and designed these logos amazing colorful logos for the teams and you also get envelopes designed by chris with the logos on there the set is available right now the purchase information is in the description for this video it is 81 dollars for eight teams 28 man rosters and the envelopes and deliveries included Chris's email is vsusports23 at gmail.com, or you can pay his PayPal directly at vsusports at yahoo.com. All of that information is in the description for this video. Having a great time with the set, as you know, if you've been watching this, so many close games, players that everybody knows, just a lot of fun. These are all-time all-stars from the five World Baseball Classic tournaments, including the one coming up in just a few days. Uh, also in the description for this video is information about channel membership on my channel. With channel membership, you get a discount on the secondary store every month, access to a growing archive of exclusive members-only videos, and a free gift for me every month. You can't beat that with a stick. All right, so it's Pool A. It's the third and final game of pool play in Pool A. I'm going to tell you what's on the line for each team as we go into tonight's doubleheader. When the games are done, we're going to know what the playoff picture looks like from the Pool A side of things. Let's get to the standings. In a few days, the doubleheader for the, to finish Pool B schedule is going to be coming up. But we're doing Pool A tonight. Game one is Canada at Mexico. Canada is right now leading Pool A. They've clinched a playoff spot. Uh, but they now want to get the first round by in the playoffs. And they do that by winning this game. They clinch that by winning this game. They can still get it if they lose. But they'll need some help. Mexico needs a win to clinch a playoff spot. If they do, they're in. If they lose, they'll need help. In game two, it's the United States at Puerto Rico. The United States is the surprise team of the tournament so far. They are 0-2. If the U.S. loses to Puerto Rico, they are done. If they win, they can make the playoffs, but they need help. And so we'll see how that turns out. Game one, Canada and Mexico. Game two, USA and Puerto Rico. That's tonight on the doubleheader. Let's get to the starting lineups for today's game one, Canada at Mexico. For Mexico, the visiting team in tonight's game, here's their envelope. Leading off in center field, it's Randy Rosarena. Batting second and short, Nomar Garcia Parra. Batting third, Jerry Harrison in left. Adrian G Garcia Parra is at short. Harrison's in left. Gonzalez, Adrian Gonzalez batting fourth. He'll play first. Alex Verdugo bats fifth. He'll be in right. Vinny Castilla bats sixth. He'll be the DH. Jorge Cantu will bat seventh. He'll be the third baseman. Alejandro Kirk bats eighth. He'll catch. And Isaac Paredes uh, will bat ninth and play second base. On the mound, it's Esteban Loaiza. He pitched for Mexico in the 2006 tournament. He is a C-grade pitcher with a Z modifier. Team Mexico has 37 defense points. That makes them a fielding two. Their record is one and one. Team Canada is undefeated. There's their envelope. And here's their lineup. Leading off, the catcher, Russell Martin. Batting second, first baseman, Joey Votto. 
Batting third, the left fielder, Matt Stairs. Jason Bay, one of their heroes so far, is injured. He will miss this game and the next game of the tournament. Freddie Freeman bats fourth. He'll be the DH. Michael Saunders bats fifth. He's in right field. Mark Tayen will bat sixth. He's playing center field. Corey Koski bats seventh. He's at third. Abraham Toro bats eighth. He'll play second. And Pete Orr bats ninth. He'll be the shortstop. On the mound, it's Eric Bedard. He pitched in the 2006 tournament for Team Canada. He is a C-grade pitcher with a Y modifier. Team Canada has 36 defensive points. That makes them also a fielding two. A Rosarena steps in the batter's box against Eric Bedard. And we are ready to go in this one. A win for Team Canada clinches a first-round bye in the playoffs. A win for Mexico clinches a playoff berth and puts them in first place ahead of Canada. So there's a lot on the line for both teams. Bedard to Rosarena, the pitch is a base hit to left center for Rosarena, and we are underway in this one. Garcia Parra comes to the plate. Nomar. And I think they're going to put a play on. Bedard, the stretch, checks to Rosarena at first base. And the delivery to Nomar, and there he goes. And Nomar swings and misses. The throw down from Russell Martin to Abraham Toro is in time, and they get a Rosarena trying to steal. A busted hit-and-run play in the first inning for Team Mexico. Here's the next delivery to Nomar. Hit to right. Over by the line is Saunders. He's got it for out number one. Jerry Harrison Jr. with two outs and nobody aboard. Bedard kicks and deals. And this is bounced to third. Corey Koski fires to Joey Votto, and that will retire Team Mexico in inning number one. Bottom of the first, no score in this one. Game two, the United States versus Puerto Rico. All right, Russell Martin leads off against Esteban Loaiza. The pitch to Martin. Bouncing ball to shortstop Nomar Garcia Parra. Or, I'm sorry. Yes, Nomar Garcia Parra. He fires to uh, Adrian Gonzalez for out number one. Joey Votto comes up now. Loaiza winds and deals. This is a comebacker to Loaiza. He turns and throws to Gonzalez for out number two. Matt Stairs comes to the plate. Esteban Loaiza winds and delivers to Stairs, and that's ball four. Freddie Freeman comes up now with two outs and Stairs at first. Loaiza the stretch, the delivery to Freeman. And there's a base hit. It is to right field, drops in front of Verdugo. Stares around second. He's going to hustle his way to third. And there's Team Canada at the corners now for Michael Saunders. Two outs. Loiza needs a good pitch here to get out of the inning. Mark Tayen would be next. The pitch. And swung on by Saunders. It's a bouncing ball to Paredes at second. He flips to Garcia Parra covering, and that will retire Team Canada in inning number one. We have no score as we go to the second. Bedard... The left-hander is going to face Gonzalez, Verdugo, and Castilla in the Team Mexico second inning. The delivery from Bedard to Gonzalez. 
Base hit Adrian Gonzalez to right field. Collecting it is Saunders. He throws it back in. One on with nobody out. Verdugo coming up. Double play depth for the Canadian infield. Bedard the stretch and the delivery to Verdugo is a base hit. Line drive to center field. Charging hard is Tayen, but his throw is going to come to second base as Gonzalez goes to third. And Mexico has runners at the corners with, in this case, nobody out. Canada's going to play their infield back. Castilla at the plate. The stretch by Bedard and the delivery is a base hit just over Toro's glove. Scoring is Gonzalez. Tayan charges. Verdugo's trying for third. Tayan's throw to Koski is in time. They get Verdugo at third, but Castilla advances to second on the play. One nothing Mexico. They've got another runner in scoring position. Cantu comes up. Tempting to walk him here, but I'm not going to do that. Bedard, the stretch, and the delivery to Cantu. Hey, struck him out. Made him look sick. Got him on a bender, and there's two away. Alejandro Kirk comes to the plate with Castilla at second. Paredes would be next, the pitch from Bedard. Is a comebacker to Bedard. He's going to flip to Joey Votto, and that will retire the side. But Team Mexico breaks out on top. They lead it 1-0 as we go to the bottom of the second. For Canada against Loiza in the bottom of the second, it'll be Tayan, Koski, and Toro, 6-7-8 in the batting order. Loiza kicks and deals to Mark Tayan, and that's hit on the ground to... Paredes at second. He gloves it to his left. Throws to Adrian Gonzalez, and there's one away. Corey Koski now. Loiza winds and deals to Koski. It's hit to right. Verdugo back a few steps, but he's got room and puts it away for out number two. Abraham Toro comes to the plate. The pitch to Toro. Is hit to right. Dying Quail. Coming on one more time is Verdugo, and he's got it for out number three. We go to the third with your score. Mexico one, Canada nothing. Paredes, Rosarena, and Garcia Parra coming up in the third against Bedard. The pitch to Paredes is ball four. He walked him. Rosarena comes up. A lot of options here. And okay. Bedard the stretch. The pitch to Rosarena. He's going to try and bunt. And... He bunts it out in front of home plate. Russell Martin pounces on it. Fires down to second where Orr is covering. They force Paredes, the relay to Votto is late. A Rosarena beats the rap at first with his good speed, but Paredes is retired 2 6 on the fielder's choice bunt. And here's Nomar. All right. The stretch by Bedard, the pitch to Nomar. There goes a Rosarena and Garcia Parra with a base hit to right field. Drops in front of Saunders. A Rosarena is going to get to third easily. And there are Team Mexico base runners at the corners with one out in the third. Jerry Hairston Jr. comes to the plate. Bedard is up. Now, Bedard is in trouble. Hairston is up. On deck is Adrian Gonzalez. 
Bedard the stretch. The pitch to Jerry Harrison Jr. The squeeze is on. He just hit him. He dotted Jerry Harrison and the runners have to hold. Garcia Parr goes down to second. The bases are now loaded. One out, Adrian Gonzalez at the plate. The infield is going to move in for Team Canada. Gonzalez, a double play target if you can get him to hit it on the ground. Bedard, the stretch. The pitch to Adrian Gonzalez. Comebacker to Bedard. He goes home to Martin for one. The relay to Votto is in time for a rally-killing Soul crushing one, two, three double play turned by Team Canada, and they get out of the mess. Wow. Bases loaded with one out, their cleanup hitter up, and they get nothing. We go to the bottom of the third. It's Mexico one, Canada nothing. Loiza will face Orr, Martin, and Vado in the third. The pitch. Ground ball, hit to Paredes. He cuts it off from going up the middle, plants and throws to Gonzalez for out number one. Russell Martin is 0 for 1. The pitch to him. Base hit for Martin. This goes to left center, cut off by Rosarena, and Martin's aboard with one out. Joey Votto comes to the plate. Matt Stairs is on deck. Loiza the stretch, the delivery to Votto. Comebacker to Loiza. He's going to turn and go to Nomar for one. And the relay is in the dirt to Gonzalez. He blocks it but can't dig it out. Votto will reach on the fielder's choice as Martin is erased. 1-6, and with two outs, here's Stairs. Freeman would be next. Loiza the stretch and the delivery to Stairs. Bouncing ball to Cantu at third. He gloves it by the bag and fires across the diamond to Adrian Gonzalez for out number three. Canada is turned away in the third. We go to the fourth. Mexico one, Canada nothing. Eric Bedard starts his fourth and final inning of the day. That's the limit for starters, is four innings on our pitch counts. Verdugo, Castilla, and Cantu, 5-6-7 for Mexico up in the fourth. The pitch. Base hit, Verdugo to left center. Another hit for Mexico. They are on. Castilla is up. Double play depth for the Canada infield. Bedard the stretch, the pitch to Vinny Castilla. Aye. Struck him out, and that's strikeout number two for Bedard. One gone in the fourth. Cantu coming up. In the Team Canada bullpen, there is action. And it's going to be Nick Pavetta. Starting to throw. Cantu is 0 for 1. The pitch from Bedard. Hit in the air to right. Saunders in right center will make the catch for out number 2. Verdugo returns to first. Here's Alejandro Kirk. Bedard the stretch and the pitch to Kirk is a hanger. And extra bases. Down into the right field corner. Verdugo is being waved around third. Saunders hits Toro with the relay. Toro's throw home to Martin is late. It's a double for Kirk and a run scored for Verdugo. It's 2-0 Mexico. Kirk is at second. Paredes at the plate. There's two outs. Bedard, the stretch, and the pitch is hit to left, but not deep. Here comes Matt Stairs, 
And he's got it for out number three. We go to the bottom of the fourth. With your score, Mexico two, Canada nothing. We got a good game here. Big one for both teams. Fourth and final inning for Loiza. In the Mexico bullpen, their next pitcher is starting to throw. And it's Jose Urquidy. And he is the Astros right-hander, of course. And he is warming up to take over in the fifth. For Canada, it's Freeman, Saunders, and Tayan coming up in the fourth inning. Four, five, six for Canada. The pitch to Freddie Freeman is a jam job pop-up. Jorge Cantu is under it. And there's one gone in the fourth. Michael Saunders. Loiza's only allowed two hits. The And here's three hits <laughs> as soon as I say that. To left center, a base hit for Saunders. One out, one on for Canada. Here's Tan. Team Mexico looking for a twin killing. The pitch from Loiza. Bouncing ball to Cantu at third. Saunders will advance to second. Cantu makes the throw to Gonzalez for out number two. Corey Koski comes to the plate. Loiza, the stretch, checks Saunders at second. The delivery home to Koski is a shot to first. Knocked down by Gonzalez, but he has no play. But by keeping it on the infield, Saunders has to stop at third. Koski is safe at first. There's Team Canada members at the corners for Abraham Toro. And two outs. Loiza the stretch. Toro is 0 for 1, the pitch. Is popped up. Adrian Gonzalez in fair territory is going to make the catch for out number three. That ends Loiza's day with four shutout innings of Team Canada. We go to the fifth. It's Mexico two, Canada nothing. Eric Bedard goes four innings. He allows seven base hits. He walked one, he hit a batter, he struck out two, he allowed two runs, and they're both earned, but he got out of a lot of trouble. Nick Pavetta is going to take over on the mound for Team Canada here in the top of the fifth. He's going to pitch for Canada in the tournament coming up in a few weeks. He is a C-grade pitcher with a Y modifier. He's a right-hander. He's got Arozarena, Garcia Parra, and Hairston coming up in the top of the fifth as Mexico looks to build on their lead. The pitch from Pavetta to Arozarena. Hey, struck him out and one gone on the cheese. Here's Garcia Parra, one for two. The delivery from Pavetta is bounced to short. Or charges and throws on the run to... Joey Votto for out number two. Jerry Hairston up now. Pivetta kicks and deals. And that's ball four to the Team Mexico left fielder. Adrian Gonzalez comes to the plate. He's one for two. Pivetta the stretch and the delivery to Gonzalez as a hanger. Did he get it? This one is going to be... Over the first base bag, down into the corner. Going to rattle around down there. Saunders hits Toro with the relay. And the throw home to Russell Martin is late. Hairston scores all the way from first. It's 3 nothing Mexico on the double by Gonzalez. Verdugo comes to the plate now. He's 2 for 2. Pavetta the stretch, the pitch. Hey, struck him out. He humped up on that fastball. We go to the bottom of the fifth. We're halfway through this one. Mexico gets a run in the top. On one hit, they leave one. Say it with me. Oh, those bases on balls. We go to the bottom of the fifth. It's Mexico three, 
and Canada nothing. Jose Urquidy takes over, but Loiza is done with his four-inning stint. He allowed four hits. He walked a man. He did not strike out anyone, but he allowed no runs. Urquidy will be pitching for Mexico in the March WBC. He's right-hander, of course, a C-grade pitcher with a YZ modifier set. He's got Orr, Martin, and Votto coming up in the Team Canada 5th inning, 9-1-2. Pete Orr is 0-1. for 1. The pitch from Urquidy is taken for a ball. Next delivery is hit to Paredes at 2nd. He's up with it, throws to Adrian Gonzalez, and there's one away. In the Team Canada fifth inning, Russell Martin now. Yerkwitty kicks and deals. And Martin hits a pop-up. Cantu in fair territory is going to take it for out number two. Joey Votto comes to the plate. He's 0 for 2. Matt Stairs would be next. Mexico leads 3-0. We're in the bottom of the fifth. The pitch. Popped up a jam job. Another chance for Cantu, and he's got it for out number three. We go to the sixth. Mexico three, Canada nothing. Vinny Castilla is one for two, and he's a bat. Pavetta kicks and deals to Vinny Castilla, and he hits it on the ground to third. That's Corey Koski to his left. He plants and throws to Votto for out number one. Jorge Cantu now, 0 for 2. Pavetta deals to him, and hey, struck him out. Number 3 for Nick Pavetta. Two gone in the 6th. Alejandro Kirk, who hit a run-scoring double in the 4th inning. The pitch. Uh, and a base hit to right field for Kirk. That's his second hit. Brings up Paredes. Pavetta the stretch. The pitch to Isaac Paredes. Hey, struck him out. Number four for Paredes. Made him look sick on a bender. We go to the bottom of the sixth. It's Mexico three, Canada nothing. Our second game is the U.S. versus Puerto Rico. Yerquity in his for his second inning, is out there. Stairs, Freeman, and Saunders. The meat of the Team Canada order is up in the sixth inning. And the pitch. And a base hit for Matt Stairs to left center. Rosarena cuts it off. Freeman coming up. Double play depth for the Team Mexico infield. And they're going to get their bullpen cooking. It will be... Roberto Osuna starting to throw. Freeman is one for two. Yerquity the stretch and the delivery and a base hit for Freeman. Goes to center field. Around second is Stairs. Look at him turning on the afterburners. Rosarena's throw comes into second. There's Team Canada at the corners, and nobody out. Here's Michael Saunders. This may be Yerquity's last batter. Mark Tain is on deck. Mexico's looking for a double play grounder. The pitch to Saunders. Hit in the air to right. Under it is Verdugo. Stairs has to hold. One down. Tan comes up. He's the tying run at the plate. Koski on deck. The pitch from Yerquity. Hit to right. Shallow right field Verdugo. He's got it for out number two. Corey Koski. One for two. Yerquity the stretch. The delivery to Koski. He's going to get out of it. Strike three called on Koski. 
and Canada put two on with nobody out and could not score. We go to the seventh with your score, Mexico three, Canada nothing. Ravenna facing a Rosarena. His third and final inning of work for Nick Pavetta, the pitch. Is a hanger to a Rosarena. Did he get it? This one is going to be off the wall in right center field, running it down his tan. A Rosarena gets to second with a double. Nomar comes to the plate. Well, Canada's got to get the pen going. It's going to be Axford and Crane starting to throw. A couple of righties. Pavetta the stretch, the pitch to Nomar. He is not bunting and it's popped up on the infield. Pete Orr is under it, and he's got it for out number one. That is just what the doctor ordered for Canada. Now it's Hairston. Pavetta the stretch, the pitch to Jerry Hairston. Fly ball, right field. Saunders is under it. He's going to make the catch by the foul line. Rosarena is tagging and heading to third. The throw is late, and he is in there. 90 feet away now, but with two outs for Adrian Gonzalez. Verdugo would be next. Gonzalez has a pair of hits today. The pitch from Pivetta. Base hit over a leaping Abraham Toro. Another RBI for Gonzalez. It's 4 0 Mexico. Verdugo is 2 for 3. Pavetta trying to get out of the inning. The delivery to Verdugo. Is bounced to second. Toro's going to go the short way to Pete Orr, and that will retire the side in the seventh. But Mexico adds another solo run on two hits. We go to the bottom of the seventh with your score. Mexico four, Canada nothing. Yerk would be out for his third and final inning of work. He'll face Toro, Orr, and Martin in the bottom of the seventh. The pitch... Hey, struck out Toro. That's strikeout number two for Jose. And here's Pete Orr. He is 0 for 2. The delivery from Yerquity is a base hit for Orr to left center. Canada has a base runner with one out. And Russell Martin comes to the plate. He's 1 for 3. Joey Votto on deck. Yerquity the stretch. The delivery to Russell Martin, bounce to second. This is Paredes, he goes to Nomar for one. The relay to Adrian Gonzalez is in time for a rally killing, soul crushing four six three double play turned by Team Mexico and Canada is turned away in the seventh. We go to the eighth, it's Mexico four and Canada nothing. We have a new pitcher coming for Team Canada. And that's Jesse, don't call me Denny Crane. In the top of the eighth. He pitched for Canada in 2006. He's an A-grade pitcher and a right-hander. He will face Castilla, Cantu, and Kirk in the Mexico eighth inning as Mexico looks for more runs. Crane winds and deals, and that's ball four to Castilla, and I think we're going to get a runner for Vinny. Looking for some wheels on the Team Mexico bench, and it's Alfredo Amezaga. Emizaga. It's Alfredo. 
coming on to run for Castillo. Cantu comes to the plate. He's 0 for 3. Crane the stretch and the delivery to Jorge. Hey, struck him out. And 0 for 4 collar with the hat trick for Cantu. Here's Kirk. Crane the stretch, the delivery to Kirk. Ball four, there's two on. Say it with me. Oh, those bases on balls. Jim Henderson is going to start to throw in the Team Canada bullpen. They don't think they're out of this one. All right. Paredes comes to the plate. He's 0 for 2. Crane the stretch. The delivery to Paredes, and this is going to be big trouble. This is big trouble, and it's to right field, and going to bounce off the wall. Scoring is Amezaga. Amezaga. Scoring is Kirk all the way from first base. The relay to third to get Paredes is late, and it's a two-run triple and 6 nothing Mexico. Crane has spit the bit in the eighth inning. Infield in for Team Canada. Rosarena at the plate. Base hit over Toro's glove. Scoring is Paredes, and it's 7 nothing Mexico. That's going to do it for Crane. They can call him Denny now because, wow. And the new pitcher is going to be Henderson, the former Brewer and Red Sox. He'll face Nomar. Henderson pitched for Canada in 2013. He's a B-grade pitcher with XY modifiers. Crane pitched a third of an inning, two walks, two hits, and three runs scored so far. The brown stain on his jersey trousers is not from sliding. All right, here's Nomar with the Rosarena at first, the pitch. Struck him out. Henderson with the gas. Two down and Jerry Hairston comes to the plate. Jerry is 0 for 2. Henderson the stretch. The pitch to Hairston. Is strike three swinging. Henderson comes in and gets a pair of Ks to end the eighth. But the damage is done. Three runs for Mexico on two hits. Say it with me. Oh, those bases on balls. We go to the bottom of the eighth with your score. Mexico seven, Canada nothing. Your Quiddy was quite good in his three innings of work. He allowed three hits, didn't walk anybody, didn't strike out, or he struck out one, didn't allow any runs. Roberto Osuna pitched for Team Mexico in 2017. He's an A-grade pitcher with XC modifiers. He's on to face Vado, Stairs, and Freeman in the Canada eighth inning. They have some work to do. They're down 7 nothing. Osuna Devado is to right and deep. Back goes Verdugo. Warning track. Wall. And it's gone on the first pitch from Osuna. 7-1 to one now. Stairs comes to the plate. Freeman on deck. The pitch to Osuna. Ball four. Or from Osuna is ball four. Stairs trots down to first. And we're going to get the Mexico bullpen going again. It's going to be Romo. Sergio Romo. And David Cortez. Pair of right-handers. Freeman at the plate. Stairs at first. Nobody out. The pitch from Osuna is to right and deep for Freeman. Verdugo doesn't even move. It's gone. And 7-3 to three now, Mexico. And yikes. Like lightning, that struck. Mex Mexico's lead is down to four. 
Saunders up. One for three. Tan on deck. The pitch. And a base hit for Saunders. Tan comes up. He is 0 for 3. Osuna the stretch. The pitch. Bouncing ball to Gonzalez. He's going to fire to Nomar for the force out of Saunders at second base. There's one away. Corey Koski comes to the plate. He's one for three. The delivery. And more trouble for Team Mexico. It's hit to second, and it's off Paredes glove. Koski reaches on the E4. Tayan goes to second. There's two on with one out, and that's going to do it for Osuna. Well, that didn't take long. They want Romo. Osuna goes one-third of an inning. He allows three hits. Two of them were homers. A walk. Uh, three runs so far. Two more runs are his responsibility on the bases. Romo pitched for Team Mexico in 2013. He's an AC pitcher with XZ modifiers. Toro is due up, and they're going to hit for him. I believe. Yes, they are. All right. So, the pinch hitter for Toro will be Justin Morneau. Morneau with Minnesota and the Pirates. And was he with somebody else? I can't remember. Tell me in the comments if you remember. He played for Canada in 2009 in the 2009 tournament. He's a left-handed batter. He's got two men on. Tan at second, Koski at first. Romo and his slider are going to try and get him to hit a ground ball. The pitch from Sergio to Morno. And he did just that. This is bounce to second. That is Paredes. He goes to Nomar for one, and the relay to Gonzalez is in time. For a rally-killing, soul-crushing, 4-6-3 double play turned by Mexico. And Canada gets three, but it could have been a lot more. On three hits, they leave two. We go to the ninth with your score. Mexico seven, Canada three. New second baseman will be LeBlanc. Uh, taking Toro's spot. Their defense drops to a fielding three. Jim Henderson is on for his first full inning of work. He'll face Gonzalez, Verdugo, and Amezaga. Uh, or a pinch hitter in the ninth. It's Mexico seven, Canada three. The pitch to Gonzalez is strike three swinging. He got him with the broccoli cauliflower medley. Gas. Verdugo now. Two for four. And Verdugo gets a hanger. This one is going to be down the right field line. Into the corner. Verdugo into second with a double. Amezaga. They're going to hit for him. And that is going to be... Kareem Garcia. Garcia for Amezaga as they're looking for some long ball action. Cantu is on deck having a horrible day. Henderson, the stretch, and the pitch to Garcia is strike three on a bender and Henderson has four strikeouts in an inning and a third. Here's Cantu. If Cantu strikes out, he's got the golden sombrero, <laughs> the pitch. 
He walked him. Kirk comes to the plate. Two for three. Paredes would be next. Henderson the stretch. And the pitch to Alejandro Kirk is a base hit again for Kirk. This one goes to left. They are going to wave Verdugo. Uh... And he will score. It's 8-3. Cantu goes to third. Kirk goes to second on the throw, and it's Paredes. Second and third, they're looking for more. That's a big run right there. They're up by five. Henderson, the stretch, the delivery to Paredes is a ground ball to LeBlanc at second. He's going to throw to Votto at first, and that will retire Team Mexico in the ninth, but they get a run on two hits. They leave two. We go to the bottom of the ninth. It's Mexico 8, Canada 3. It'll be Orr, Martin, and Votto coming up. And we get a new Team Mexico pitcher. It's going to be David Cortez trying to get an inning of work. They're up by 5. Romo is done. He did his job after getting that double play grounder off the bat of Morno to snuff out the Canada rally in the 8th. Cortez pitched for Mexico in the 2006 tournament. He's a C pitcher with a Z modifier. He'll face Orr first, the pitch. That's hit to right. Verdugo is there, and there's one away. Russell Martin now. One for four. The pitch from Cortez is to center. Dying quail. Here comes a Meza, uh, I'm sorry, a Rosarena, and he's got it for out number two, and that'll make Joey Votto the last chance saloon. Matt Stairs would be next. Votto hit a bomb last inning, and it's popped up. Fair territory. Cantu is under it, and Mexico wins the game, and a whole bunch of interesting things happen with that development. All right. So let's do the totals first. For Canada, seven runs. 15 base hits. And they committed one error. Canada, a disappointing effort. Three runs, 10 hits. And they committed... No errors. Of course, it's always possible. Canada's been playing way over their heads. Uh, the win goes to Loiza. All-star game rules as far as scoring. He gets the win, even though he didn't go five. The loser is Bedard. He is 0-1. Now let's look at the standings. As we go to game two in our doubleheader, Canada loses. They are now 2-1. and one. Mexico wins. They are 2-1. and one. But because Mexico beat Canada, Mexico is in first place at the moment. So, lots on the line here in Game 2. If Puerto Rico wins, the U.S. is eliminated. If the U.S. wins, they sneak into the playoffs by virtue of beating Puerto Rico in head-to-head -head competition. So whoever wins this next game gets uh, a playoff spot. So there's everything on the line here. Um, all right, so it'll be coming up right now. Let's go to the starting lineups. Somebody's going home after this game. Here's the Team USA. Here's their envelope with the logo. Here's the Team USA batting order. They are the visitors. Andrew McCutcheon leads off and left. Derek Jeter bats second at short. Ken Griffey Jr. bats third and right. 
Mike Trout bats fourth in center. Paul Goldschmidt bats fifth. He'll play first. Kyle Tucker bats sixth. He'll be the DH. David Wright bats seventh. He'll play third. JT Realmuto bats eighth. He'll be the catcher. And Ben Zobrist bats ninth at second base. Uh, they are, uh, a, I'm sorry, R.A. Dickey will be the pitcher. He pitched for the United States in the 2013 tournament. He is an A-grade pitcher with YZ modifiers. There are 38 fielding points. That makes Team USA a fielding two. Puerto Rico's envelope looks like that. And their lineup in game two looks like this. Francisco Lindor leads off at short. Angel Pagan bats second and left. Carlos Beltran bats third and right. Carlos Delgado bats fourth. He'll be the DH. Yadi Molina bats fifth. He'll catch. Ivan Rodriguez will bat sixth. He's going to play first base. Bernie Williams bats seventh. He'll be in center. Javi Baez bats eighth. He'll play second. Carlos Baerga bats ninth. He'll play, he'll play third. And on the mound, it's Nelson Figueroa, who pitched for Puerto Rico in 2009. He is a C pitcher with a W modifier. Here we go, Nelson Figueroa to Andrew McCutcheon. And we are underway, and it's bounced to third. That is Carlos Baerga, who gloves it and fires to Ivan Rodriguez at first. And we are underway in this one. Derek Jeter comes up now. Do a little bit of a change there. Okay, there we go. And Jeter is at bat. The, the delivery from Nelson Figueroa is hit to Lindor at short. He's up with it and throws to Rodriguez for out number two. Both teams have got to win. Must win. Somebody's going home. Griffey is up. The pitch from Figueroa to Jr. Is a base hit to right field. Collected by Beltran. He throws it back in. And Trout comes to the plate with two out and a man aboard. Goldschmidt would be next. Figueroa the stretch and the delivery popped up. Foul territory. Yadi Molina is under it and he'll take it. For out number one, we've played a half an inning. Everything they get out of Nelson Figueroa is a bonus because they've got to be ready for a bullpen game. They do anyway because the starters are only going four innings. But Figueroa can be wild, and that may end up costing them. Lindor, Pagan, and Beltran leading off for the Puerto Rico first. The pitch popped up. JT Realmuto discards the mask and makes the catch for out number one. Angel Pagan now. He is the left fielder in this one. And, hey, struck you, out on a R.A. Dickey flutter ball. Beltran comes to the plate with two outs and nobody aboard. Delgado would be next. The pitch. Base hit for Beltran to left field. McCutcheon collects it and throws it back in. Delgado will get an at-bat in the first inning. Molina would be next. The stretch by Dickey and the delivery is a hanger to Delgado. Did he get it? This one is going to be extra bases down into the right field corner. Digging it out of there is Griffey. He hits Zobrist with the relay. The throw home to Real Muto. Late, Beltran scores on a double by Delgado with two outs in the bottom of the first. That'll bring up Molina with a chance to extend the lead. Dickey the stretch, the delivery to Yadi Molina. Hit to short. Jeter charges, throws on the run to Goldschmidt, and that'll retire Puerto Rico in the first. But they get a 1-0 lead on a couple of base hits. They leave one after one.
Puerto Rico one nothing. The early lead is big in this kind of a game. Figure all will face Goldschmidt, Tucker, and Wright. Five, six, seven in the U.S. order in inning number two. Figure all wines and deals to Paul Goldschmidt and hey, struck him out. First strikeout for Nelson Figueroa brings up Tucker. First at bat in the tournament for Tucker. The delivery. And a base hit for Tucker to left center field. Cut off by Bernie Williams. He gets it back in. One on, one out for the U.S. David Wright, Captain America, is at the plate. Double play depth for the Puerto Rico infield. Figueroa, the stretch, and the delivery to Wright. Ball four, he walked him. That's what I was talking about with Figueroa. Real Muto comes to the plate. They got to start action in the bullpen. Uh, and it's going to be... It's going to be Edwin Diaz, who's had his troubles in this tournament, but... They're getting them loose. Real Muto is first at bat. Tucker at second. David Wright is at first. One out. The delivery. Hit in the air to Wright. This is Beltran. He will make the catch. Kyle Tucker will tag and go to third. So it's a fly out to Beltran and right, but the runner advances. There are U.S. players at the corners for Zobrist. Figueroa the stretch, the pitch to Ben Zobrist. Is hit in the air to right one more time. It's going to drive... Beltron back a few steps, but he's got room and makes the catch for out number three. We go to the bottom of the second with the score. Puerto Rico won. The United States nothing. Rodriguez, Williams, and Baez coming up 6-7-8 in the Puerto Rico order in the bottom of the second. Ivan Rodriguez is the first baseman today. The pitch from R.A. Dickey. Is hit to short. Jeter cuts it off from going up the middle. Nice play. Throws to Goldschmidt, and there's one down in Puerto Rico's second inning. Bernie Williams now. Dickey kicks and deals. Base hit for Bernie Williams to right field. Third hit for Puerto Rico. One on, one out for Baez. United States is going to get the bullpen going. Somebody's going home today. Roy Oswald starts to throw for the U.S. Dickey the stretch. The pitch to Baez is ball two. The next delivery to R.A. Dickey. Hey, struck him out. And there's two gone. In the Puerto Rico second, here's Carlos Baerga. Lindor at the top of the order would be next. Dickey, the stretch, the delivery to Baerga, and he struck him out and gets out of the inning. So maybe Dickey is riding the ship now. We go to the third. It's Puerto Rico one, the United States nothing. You can feel the tension. Somebody's going home. McCutcheon, Jeter, and Griffey, top of the order against Nelson Figueroa in the U.S. third. The delivery to McCutcheon is popped up. Fair territory. Carlos Baerga has it for out number one. Derek Jeter now 0 for 1. Figueroa kicks and deals to Jeter. That's a jam job pop-up. One more chance for Carlos Baerga, and he's got it for out number two. Ken Griffey Jr. Figueroa kicks and deals. And it's a ground ball to Baez. He gloves it to his left, keeps it from going into right field, plants and throws. 
to Yvonne Rodriguez at first, and that will retire the United States in the third inning. It's a win for Puerto Rico. Anything they get out of Nelson Figueroa is a win, and they've gotten three shutout innings. We go to the bottom of the third. It's one nothing Puerto Rico. Lindor leads it off. And a base hit for Lindor to right field. That'll bring up Pagan. Angel Pagan at the plate. Dickie the stretch. The delivery to Pagan. He's going to square to bunt. And he gets it down. It's bunted toward David Wright. He's going to throw to Zobrist covering first. And that will move Lindor to second with one out. Sacrifice works. Here's Beltran. Mexico desperately trying to get that second run here in the third inning. Beltran singled and scored in the first. The pitch from Dickey. Base hit to center field. This is Trout. They're waving Lindor. Trout's home. Trout's throw is coming home to Real Muto. And they get Lindor at the plate. 8-2. Beltran goes to second on the throw. But Mexico is turned away at the moment. But there's a man at second for Delgado. First base is open. Molina is on deck and they're walking Delgado. They're walking Carlos to get to Yanni Molina. Righty righty matchup. Ivan Rodriguez would be next. There's two outs in the bottom of the third. The pitch from R.A. Dickey is to center and deep. Back goes Trout. Warning track. Wall. It's a three run bomb from Molina. Four nothing Puerto Rico. Are you kidding me? The United States is on the brink of getting swept right out of this tournament. Rodriguez comes to the plate. Dickey deals to him. Base hit to right for Rodriguez. That's going to do it. You can put a fork in R.A. Dickey. He is done. All right. Unbelievable action in this tournament. You think you know what's going to happen. You don't. Roy Oswalt is coming on. For R.A. Dickey. Dickey goes two and two-thirds innings. He allows two, four, six, seven hits. He walked one intentionally. He struck out three. He's allowed four runs. They're all earned. Rodriguez, a fifth run, potentially, is his responsibility. Roy Oswald pitched for the United States in 2009. He is a B pitcher with YZ modifiers, and he's got Bernie Williams to deal with. Oswalt, the stretch, and the delivery to Bernie Williams. Is bounce to Zobrist. He's going to go the short way to Jeter, and that's going to retire Puerto Rico in the third, but they get three more, and they're big ones. On four hits, they leave one. The intentional walk to Delgado backfired. Molina took him out of here. We go to the fourth with your score, Puerto Rico four and the United States nothing. Trout, Goldschmidt, Tucker, four, five, six, coming up in the U.S. fourth. Figueroa is on for his final inning of work. The pitch popped up. Yadi Molina under it. And there's one down in the fourth for the U.S. Every out is huge now. Figueroa to Goldschmidt. Hey, struck him out. He got him on a dead fish changeup, or was it his fastball? Nobody knows. Here's Tucker, one for one. David Wright would be next. Figueroa kicks and deals. And a base hit for Tucker. Second hit of the game. David Wright comes up. Somebody's got to get a clutch hit for the United States, or it's not going to happen today. Right walked in the second. The pitch from Figueroa. Hey, struck him out. That's number three. 
And Nelson Figueroa delivers four shutout innings for Team Puerto Rico. Yikes. All right. We go to the bottom of the fourth with your score, Puerto Rico four and the U.S. nothing. Oswalt is on for his first full inning of work. He'll face Baez, Baerga, and the top with Lindor. Roy kicks and deals to Baez. It's popped up. Real Muto takes it for out number one. Baerga, ninth place hitter for Puerto Rico today. The pitch. Bouncing ball to Zobrist. He gloves it to his left. Plants. Throws to Goldschmidt for out number two. Here's Lindor. He is one for two. And I'm throwing dice all over the room. But fear not. And it's to right. Ken Griffey Jr. is there, and he's got it for out number three. We go to the fifth. Puerto Rico four, U.S. nothing. Nelson Figueroa went four innings, allowed three hits. He walked one, he struck out three, and allowed no Count them, zero runs. Edwin Diaz is on for Team Puerto Rico. He pitched for Puerto Rico in the 2017 tournament. He has a B-grade pitcher with XYZ modifiers. He'll face Real Muto, Zobrist, and McCutcheon in the U.S. fifth. The pitch from Edwin is taken for a ball. JT is ahead in the count, 1-0. The next delivery popped up. A jam job pop-up for Molina. He's got it for out number one. Ben Zobrist is 0 for 1. Diaz kicks and deals. Zobrist swings, and it's to center. Not deep. Bernie Williams is there, and there's two away. Andrew McCutcheon is 0 for 2. Diaz winds and delivers. McCutcheon strikes out, swinging Diaz with the gas. We're halfway through this one. Puerto Rico four, U.S. nothing. Oswalt is on for his second full inning of work. He came on in the third for Dickey. He'll face Pagan, Beltran, and Delgado. Two, three, four in the Puerto Rico lineup. The pitch is fouled for strike one. The next delivery from is fouled for strike two. The next pitch is a hanger to Pagan. Did he get it? This one is going to be down the right field line. Griffey's got to get it out of there. Pagan around first, heading to second with a double. More action in the U.S. bullpen. Beltran comes to the plate. Puerto Rico is looking to have an easy time of it here. Chris Archer and Devin Williams are throwing in the bullpen for Team USA. Beltran up. Bel Oswald, the stretch and the delivery. Is bounced to short. Jeter checks Pagan at second and fires to Goldschmidt at first. For out number one in the fifth, here's Delgado. Oswald the stretch, the delivery to Carlos. And there goes Pagan heading for third on a stolen base attempt. Real Muto throws it into left field. Stolen base and an E2 score. Pagan, it's 5 nothing Puerto Rico with Delgado still at the plate. Real Muto launched that one into left field, and the fifth run scores for Puerto Rico. The pitch to Delgado is hit in the air to center, but not deep. Trout is there and makes the catch for out number two. Here's Molina with that three-run bomb in the third. The pitch hit to center. It's going to drive Trout back near the track. He'll make the catch for out number three. But U.S. desperation slash sloppiness 
leads to another Puerto Rico run. We go to the six. It's five nothing Puerto Rico. Edwin Diaz is done for the day. We have a new Puerto Rico pitcher coming on to face Jeter, Griffey, and Trout. And it's going to be Kiko Calero. Diaz went one inning. Struck out a man and that's it. Calero pitched for the Puerto Rican team in 2006. He's a B-grade pitcher with a Y modifier. He's a right-hander. He's got Jeter first, the pitch. Bouncing ball to Lindor at short. He gloves it and throws to Ivan Rodriguez at first for out number one. Here's Ken Griffey Jr., one for two, the pitch. Is taken for, no, it's a foul ball. Next delivery from Calero. Griffey bounces this one to second. Baez gloves it and throws to Rodriguez for out number two. Here's Mike Trout. 0 for 2 for Trout. 0 for 3 for Trout. He struck him out. And we go to the bottom of the sixth. Puerto Rico 5 and a very flat looking USA ball club. Nothing. Oswald is done. We'll get a new U.S. pitcher coming on. And that is going to be Milwaukee Brewer right-hander, Devin Williams. So Williams gets the sixth. His job is to hold them where they're at. Oswald goes two and a third innings, allows a hit, a run, and that's it. Devin Williams will pitch for the Team USA in the upcoming tournament. He's an AC pitcher with XYW modifiers. And he is a right-hander. He'll get Rodriguez, Williams, and Baez, 6, 7, 8 in the Puerto Rico lineup. And this one is a jam job pop-up in fair territory. David Wright near the bag at third is going to make the catch for out number one. Bernie Williams, one for two. The pitch to him is bounced to short. Jeter. No, that's off his foot. And the next delivery comes to Williams from Williams, and that's strike three swinging. So two down in the bottom of the six. Here's Javi Baez. Bayerga would be next. The pitch. He struck him out and made him look bad. We go to the seventh. With your score, Puerto Rico five and the U.S. nothing. Uh, and we're going to get a new Puerto Rico pitcher here in inning number seven. Kiko Calero is done after an inning of work. He struck out a man, and that's all that is noteworthy on his ledger. And it's going to be Alex Claudio coming on for Puerto Rico. He's a left-hander. He pitched for Puerto Rico in the 2017 tournament. He's a B-grade pitcher with a Z modifier. He's got Goldschmidt, Tucker, and Wright in his future. 5 nothing Puerto Rico, nine outs to go, and the U.S. is going home. The pitch. Hey, struck out Goldschmidt, and there's one down in the seventh. The U.S. has eight outs left. Here's Tucker. He's a left-handed batter, but he's two for two, so he's staying in there. The pitch, ball four, he walked him. On base three times, David Wright, the captain, coming up. The Puerto Rico bullpen is cooking again. They are taking no chances. Javier Lopez is throwing another left-hander in the Puerto Rico bullpen. David Wright at the plate is 0 for 1. The pitch. 
is hit to second. Baez goes to Lindor for one. The relay to Rodriguez is late. Wright beats the rap at first. Real Muto comes up with two outs and Wright on at first base. Zobrist would be next. The pitch. And it's a bouncer to Baez. He's going to go the short way to Lindor. And that will retire the U.S. in the seventh. It's time to stretch them out. With your score, Puerto Rico five and the U.S. nothing. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Bayerga, Lindor, and Pagan coming up against a new U.S. pitcher. And who is that going to be? That is going to be Joe Nathan. Joe Nathan coming on. Williams did an inning. He struck out two. And the seventh inning is for Joe Nathan. He pitched for the United States in 2006. He has an A grade with XY modifiers. Bayerga, Lindor, and Pagan coming up. That's 9-1-2. Nathan deals. And Bayerga swings and hits it to Goldschmidt at first, and he drops the ball. Bayerga safe on the E3 as the United States continues to absolutely implode. Lindor is up. Nathan the stretch checks Bayerga at first, and I'm throwing dice all over the room. The pitch is hit to third, knocked down by right, picks it up, fires to first. They get Lindor by a half step. Bayerga moves to second on the play. And here's Pagan. We're in the bottom of the seventh. Puerto Rico leading 5 nothing. Nathan, the stretch, the delivery to Pagan is a hanger. Did he get it? This is going to be off the wall. Bayerga will, will score. Pagan goes to second with his second double. It's 6-0 Puerto Rico. And Beltran comes to the plate. Kimbrell is throwing in the bullpen for the U.S. The pitch from Nathan. Hey, struck him out. Two down. Delgado is due up. Molina's on deck, but they learned their lesson in the third. They're not going to walk Delgado. The pitch to Delgado from Nathan is to right and deep. Back goes Ken Griffey Jr. Warning track. Wall, and it's gone. 8 nothing Puerto Rico over the United States. And as my old Fayette teacher Ed Olson would say, the romp is on. Nathan is done. You can stick a fork in him. Craig Kimbrell is coming on in the seventh inning. That tells you how it's looking for Team U.S. My goodness. Nathan gives up two runs. None of them are earned because of the Goldschmidt error. Two hits. He gives up three runs, two hits, strikes out a man. Kimbrell is on. He pitched for the U.S. in 2013's tournament. He's an A.B. pitcher with XYZ modifiers, and he's got Molina. 8 nothing Puerto Rico. My goodness. The pitch to Molina from Kimbrell. Bounce to short. Jeter's got it. Throws to Goldschmidt, and that retires Team Puerto Rico in the seventh, but they add three. On two hits, we go to the eighth. It's Puerto Rico 8 and the U.S. nothing. New pitcher for Puerto Rico is yet another left-hander from their bullpen. It's Javier Lopez. Claudio pitched an inning, struck out a man, walked a man, didn't allow any runs. Lopez, on the other hand, pitched for Puerto Rico in 
2009. He is an A pitcher. He's a left-hander. And we're going to get a pinch hitter for Zobrist here in the eighth. U.S. not giving up. It's going to be Mookie Betts batting for Zobrist. On deck is a pinch hitter for McCutcheon. May as well fire all the bullets. Trey Turner is on deck to hit for McCutcheon. The pitch from Lopez. The jam job pop-up. In fair territory, Carlos Bayerga has it for out number one. And Puerto Rico is five outs away from eliminating the United States. Starting to throw in the Puerto Rico bullpen is Roberto Hernandez. Their closer. They're not messing around. Batting for McCutcheon will be... Oh, I told you that already. It's Trey Turner. Turner will bat for McCutcheon, who finishes his day 0 for 3. Jeter is on deck. The pitch from Lopez. Hit to left, not deep. Under it is Angel Pagan, and there's two down. Derek Jeter is 0 for 3. Ken Griffey Jr. would be next. The pitch from Lopez to Jeter is to right, not deep. Carlos Beltran is there, and he's got it for out number 3. We go to the bottom of the eighth with your score, Puerto Rico 8, the United States. Nothing. Changes for the U.S. Mookie Betts goes to left field, stays in the game after hitting for Zobrist, goes to left field. Trevor Story is going to go in the game and play second base. He'll be in the leadoff spot. Kimbrell stays in the game to try and get three more outs. Rodriguez, Williams, and Baez are... Do in the Puerto Rico eighth inning, and Dylan Tate and Chris Archer are throwing in the U.S. bullpen in case Kimbrell has difficulty. One for three for Rodriguez. Kimbrell, the stretch and the delivery is a hanger to Rodriguez. And a base hit for Ivan Rodriguez. Bernie Williams comes to the plate. Kimbrell, the stretch, checks Rodriguez. The delivery to Bernie Williams is bounced to short. This is Jeter. He goes to Story for one and Goldschmidt for the deuce. A rally killing, soul crushing, but not really. 6 4 3 double play. Turned by the U.S. Here's Javi Baez. He's 0 for 3. The pitch to center, not deep. Trout is there and he's got it for out number three. We go to the ninth. And it's going to be Roberto Hernandez coming on for the Puerto Rico team. Lopez goes an inning, and that's it. Hernandez coming on for the ninth. He, it is not, of course, a save situation, but he's coming on anyway. Time out. Griffey, Trout, and Goldschmidt, the meat of the U.S. order that has done absolutely nothing in this game. They're a collective one for nine. They're up against Hernandez now. The pitch from Roberto. Hit to right. This is going to drive Beltron back near the track. He's got it for out number one. Mike Trout, 0 for 3. The pitch. Hey, struck him out. Two gone. And... Paul Goldschmidt with an 0-for-3 hat trick. Looking for the golden sombrero. Kyle Tucker's on deck. Base hit for Goldschmidt. 
Kyle Tucker becomes the last chance saloon. David Wright would be next. The pitch to Tucker is going to be a base hit. To center field, Bernie Williams fumbles it, and Goldschmidt will go to third. Runners at the corners for the U.S. with two outs in the ninth. David Wright, 0 for 2. Real Muto is on deck. The pitch. Hit to left. Under it is Pagan. And he's got it, and Puerto Rico has eliminated the United States in very convincing fashion, 8 to nothing. Let's give you the totals, and then we'll look at the standings. For the homestanding and victorious Puerto Rico, 8 runs, 11 base hits, and they committed 1 error. For the U.S., no runs. Five hits, all singles. And they committed one, where is it? One, two errors. The winning pitcher is Nelson Figueroa, who set the tone for the whole game. The loss goes to Dickey. And now let's look at the standings. All right, we are we have completed pool A. So we give Puerto Rico the win, we give the US the loss. The US is out. We have a three-way tie. We have Canada at 2 and 1, Puerto Rico at 2 and 1, and Mexico at 2 and 1. Now, what do we need to do? Well, we have to figure out who is in first place because that team gets a bye in the next round. So we look to run differential. And Canada is minus two in that column. Puerto Rico plus 11. Mexico plus four. Puerto Rico, therefore, is the winner of pool A. And they get the bye. Canada will play at Mexico. And the winner of that game will play the first place team in Pool B in Round 2. Likewise, after we do the Pool B doubleheader, which will be coming up in just a few days, we will know the first place team in Pool B that, they will, that the winner of that game will play. Then the second and third place teams in Pool B will play off, and the winner there will play Puerto Rico. Uh, Puerto Rico will be the home team. So that is where we are. The U.S. is done at 0-3. Our next Pool A game will be Mex Canada at Mexico. But before we get there... We do our Pool B doubleheader that will wrap up pool play on this side of the bracket. Eliminate one of these four teams and get the playoffs going. This is so much fun, I can't tell you. the uh, I didn't show you, I don't think I showed you, the back of the cards of these logos that Chris is so talented at making. This incredible cards. Uh, the stock is great. $81 gets the card shipped to you. All of the ordering information is in the description for this video. And don't forget to check out channel membership as well. With channel membership to my channel, you get discounts on the secondary store, access to exclusive members-only videos, and a free gift for me every month. The Pool A is over. The playoffs are ready to start. The U.S. goes home. Thanks for being with me. Your final in Game 2 is Puerto Rico 8, United States nothing. Have a great evening. So long, everybody.